<risa> Vamos, Berto. Por aquí. Berto. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit about how to improve your fly fishing photography. I'm here with Berto today who's behind the camera. He's uh, wagging his tail and scratching, but he's coming here to give me a big ol' hug. Yes, te quiero tanto, Bertilingo. Te quiero tanto. Mwah. Mwah. Okay, sit. There you go, down. <laughs> down. He's a puppy and he just got um, fixed. I don't remember if spade or neuters for guys, but he's wearing a cone for a few days, but he's feeling happy and good. All right, so my first couple tips are, if you are taking picture of a person and a fish, or just a fish, um, I'll sit down right here and tell you guys, and Berta can be behind. So my first tip would be to get an eye level with the fish. Rather than looking down at the person holding the fish, kneel down in the water with your waders or wet wading and take a picture. It draws a lot more attention to the fish. It looks a lot better. I'll, I'll put on the screen right now a couple photos so you see what I mean. <laughs> All right, the second tip is kind of has to do a little bit with fish handling, but it is to change it up a little bit. You know, you can have the fish out of the water five seconds, then put it back in, five seconds, put it back in so that it can breathe, or keep the face of, keep the head of the fish in the water. That, um, keeping the fish head in the water kind of adds another, makes it a little more interesting, changes it up a little bit, and it's kind of fun. If I'm taking a picture of a person with a fish, a lot of times I'll have the person look at the fish. This draws more attention towards the fish rather than having the person look at the camera. Um, and it changes it up from the classic grip and grin. Come here. Yes. Mwah. <laughs> All right, so when you're using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, I like to have the aperture at about 2.8 or more. If you have it at like 1.4, the person behind the fish gets really blurry and you can't even tell if it's a human or not. So I think it's best to have it about 2.8 or above or higher. And again, focus on the fish, not on the human. Again, the, the focus of the photo, if you've actually caught a fish, is the fish. Make sure the horizon line is straight. Um, no wonky, crooked photos. And change up the lighting. I like to have my photos backlit. So I angle the person so that the sun is behind them. Or another thing to think about is what is the background? Is it a bunch of brush that's really distracting from the photo? Or is it a nice open river where you can really focus on the fish? So those are a couple um, tips if you're gonna take a grip and grin photo um, or a, a photo with a person and a fish. But most of fishing is... <laughs> oh, bad though. Most of fishing isn't catching fish. If you're an angler, you know that most of the time you're casting, you're walking, you're eating a snack, you're reading the water, you're rowing your raft or your drift boat. And I think it's really important to capture those moments. So I'll show you guys uh, on the screen some photos that I've taken that are similar to that. It tells more of a story rather than just, oh, we went to the river and we caught a fish. No, that's not how it happened. You went to the river, you read the water, you walked upstream, then you walked downstream, you cast a little bit, and then maybe you, ca you caught a fish. When taking pictures of fish, 
I think it's cool to take detail shots or macro shots where you just see a fin or just their beautiful coloring. Um, or an in the water shot, you could get a GoPro or a underwater housing for your DSLR, which is expensive, or an underwater housing for your phone. Take videos and then take sh uh, snapshots from the video. And that is such a cool vantage point. You could also do a 50-50 shot where half of the photo is above the water and half of the photo is below the water and the fish is in the water and the person is looking down at it. It just adds more dimension and um, more interest to the photo. So I guess kind of what I'm trying to say is tell a story with your photo. You know, fishing is not just catching fish. It's, there's so much to it and every angler fishes for a different reason and tell your audience why you love to fish and tell a story about your adventure fishing. I think that's what, when I see photos that captivate me, it's not just the biggest fish. It's the, the photos that have the most story, that have the most passion, that have the most feeling to them. And I think that that is what really captivates your audience. Well, thank you so much for watching. Berto and I are very, very appreciative. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, please like, or thumbs up, or whatever it is, and hit that notification bell so that you can know when I post my next video. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much, and Berto wants to say thank you. Berto! No. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't. He wants to look away from the camera. Um, but thank you guys so much, and have a great day. Bertolingo! Bertolingo! Dame un beso, dame un beso! <laughs> all right, that's all for now. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Berto. <laughs>